In the last lecture, we learned how we can insert documents in a collection using insert1 and insert many method. Now, once we have some documents in a collection, we might want to see those documents. Basically, we might want to fetch documents from a collection to show it to the end user. Let's learn how we can do that from MongoDB shell and what are the different methods available for that. Now, in the last few lectures, we have already seen how to fetch all the documents from a collection using find method. So for example, if you want to fetch all the documents from the user's collection of this eShopping database, we can say db.users, which is the collection name. And on that, we can call this find method. And when I press enter, it is going to return us all the documents from this user's collection. So these are the documents which is currently available in this user's collection. So in order to fetch all these documents, we can use find method. But apart from find method, we also have another method called find one, which we can also use to fetch document from a collection. So let me clear Mongo shell here. And now instead of using find method, if I use find one method here, this find one method, it is going to return us one single document. It is not going to return us all the documents from a given collection. It is going to return us a single document. Now, which document this find one method will return? In this case, this find one method is going to return us the very first document from the user's collection. Okay, so if I say users.find, the first document in this collection is this document where the name is John, age is 28, and gender is male. So let me clear the Mongo shell again and Let's use find one method now. And when we execute this find one method, you will notice that this find one method will return the very first document from the user's collection. If I press enter, you will see that that John document has been returned here. So this document is the very first document of this user's collection and that has been returned by this find one method. So this is the difference between find and find one. Find method returns us all the documents from a collection, but find one method returns us a single document. It returns us the very first document from a collection on which we are calling the find one method. Now, to the find method, as well as to find one method, we can also pass an optional argument. For example, let's use this find method again on this user's collection. And now what we want is, we want to fetch only those documents where the gender is male. So to this find method, we can pass a filter object. This filter object is going to be a JavaScript object. And in that, we can specify the filter condition. So here we want to fetch all those documents where the gender is male. So in this filter object, we can specify gender should be male. So now this find method, it is going to fetch all the documents from this user's collection where the gender is male. So let me go and let me press enter. And you see, it has fetched all those documents where the gender is male. If I try to fetch all the documents where the gender is female, and if I press enter, it has fetched those documents where the gender is female. Okay, let me clear this shell here. And let me run this command one more time. So these are the two documents where the gender is female. Now, just like how we can pass a filter object to find a method, in the same way, we can also pass a filter object to find one method. But when we pass a filter object to find one method, in that case, it is going to return a single document. It is going to return the first document which matches this filter criteria. So in the user's collection, there are two documents where the gender is female. And out of these two documents, the first document where the gender is female is this document, where the name is Mary, age is 32, and gender is female. So when we are passing the same condition, same filter object to this find one method, out of these two objects, it is going to return this first object. So if I go ahead and if I run this command, if I execute this find one method with this filter object, you see it has returned only a single document. And in that document, you see the name is Mary, age is 32 and gender is female. So it has returned this first document 
which matches this filter condition. There are multiple documents which matches this filter condition in this users collection. Basically, we have these two documents, actually these three documents here, which matches this filter condition. But since we are using find one method, it is only going to return us the very first document which matches that condition. So I hope the difference between find and find one is clear to you and also how find and find one behaves when we pass a filter object to it. And in this filter object, you can also specify multiple filter conditions. So for example, let's say I want to filter all those documents where the gender is male and where the age is, let's say, equal to 28. Okay, so I want to filter all those documents and here instead of using find one method, I want to use find or maybe let's try it with find one first. So as you can see in this filter object, we can specify multiple filter conditions. So first it is going to filter all the documents where the gender is male and on those filtered documents, it is again going to filter based on this age value. So if I press enter, it has returned us the very first document which matches that condition. So here you can see in this document, the age is 28 and the gender is male. So this document matches this filter condition. So it has been returned by find one. Let's also try it with find method. So let's see how many documents we have in our users collection where the gender is male and age is 28. And in this case also, it has returned only one document. That means there is only one document in this users collection which satisfies both of these criteria where the gender is male and age is 28. So we can also pass multiple filter conditions in this filter object separated by comma. All right, let's clear this Mongo shell. Now currently when we use find method to fetch documents. So here I'm using this find method to fetch all the documents where the gender is female. If I press enter, we are getting three documents here. Now in the result, let's say, I don't want to have this underscore ID field. So we can also specify that, and this is called as projection. So we can also specify which fields to include or exclude in the result. And that is called as projection. Projection in MongoDB is a mechanism used to specify which fields of a document should be included or excluded from the result set when performing a query. It allows you to tailor the output to your specific needs and reduce the amount of data transferred. Now to exclude a field in the result, you can set that field with either zero or false. So for example, if you want to exclude this ID field in the result, we can set it to zero or false and the fields which we want to include in the result, we can assign it with the value 1 or true. Okay, so by default, all the fields are included in the result set. The underscore ID field is included by default unless explicitly excluded and you can use projection to reduce the amount of data transferred and improve the query performance. Let's understand this with an example. So what I'm going to do is, let me remove this query from here and let's say db dot users dot find. So first of all, we need to specify the filter object. I'm going to specify the filter object as I want to fetch all the documents where the gender is male. Okay, so this is first argument which we are passing to the find method. The second argument is the projection object. So basically here also we can specify an object like this and in this object we can specify the fields which we want to include or exclude. For example, I want to exclude the ID field in the result. So I can either set it to zero or I can set it to false. Then I want to let's say also exclude the age field. So I can set it to zero or false whichever you like. So now what this query will do is First, it is going to fetch all the documents from the user's collection where the gender is male and in the result set, it is going to exclude the ID field and the age field. Let me copy this query from here and let's paste it here. For that, I'll simply right click on the mouse and I'll select this option, paste anyway. 
okay and if i press enter you see it has returned us an array in that array we have two documents where the gender is male as you can see and in the result in the documents the id and age field is not included only the name and gender field is included but if i want to include the id field i can set it to true or one and if i want to exclude the age field i can set it to zero or maybe i will exclude the id field so i'll set it to zero or false i want to include the age field so i'll set it to one and i want to include the name field i'll also set it to one or true maybe so you can use either boolean value true or false or zero or one and i also want to include the gender field in the result so that also i'll set it to true or one okay let's go ahead and let's copy this query again and when i right click let's paste it and now if i run this query now you will see that in the result set we have two documents where the gender is male because here we are filtering the documents based on the gender where the gender is male so it has filtered these two documents and in the result it has excluded this id this underscore id because we have set it to zero and it has included the name age and gender so this is what is called as projection if you want to include some field you can set it to true or one and if you want to exclude a field from the result set you can set it to zero or false so let me go ahead and let me clear the shell here and let me go ahead and let me run the find method on this users collection one more time so currently you will see that the result which we are getting here it is properly formatted all the properties we are getting in a separate line that means for this mongo shell the pretty print is by default enabled but if in your case you are not seeing the result in a formatted way like this if all the properties are coming in the same line that means the pretty print is set to false by default in your mongo shell so if you want to print the result in a pretty format on the find method you can use another method called pretty and it will pretty print the result if i press enter you see we have the same result here because earlier also the result was formatted and after using this pretty also it is formatted but if in your case it is not pretty formatted then you can use this dot pretty method on this find method and always remember that this pretty method can only be used on find method and not on find one method all right so this is all i wanted to talk about in this lecture in this lecture we talked about two methods find method and find one method we use find one method to fetch a single document from a collection if to this find one method we do not specify a filter criteria in that case it is going to fetch the very first document from the collection but to this find one method if we pass a filter criteria in that case it is going to fetch the first document from the collection which satisfies the filter criteria then we also have find method when we don't pass a filter object to this find method it is going to fetch all the documents from the collection on which we have called it and when we pass a filter object to this find method in that case it is going to fetch all the documents from the collection which satisfies the past filter criteria so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day